Supply chain shortages hit the beverage industry. Carbon dioxide is the issue. It's a nationwide problem that's forced a local brewery to be more efficient. Nikel Delgado talked with the brewmaster and his supplier about how it's affecting the bottom line. Nikel? That's right, Eric and Mimi. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, gives that nice fizz to drinks like beer or soda. But beverage gas distribution companies tell me CO2 is used for many things and hopes they can help keep small business open during this shortage. It's been an issue for us in the past year, definitely. Um, our supplier partner, Mac Carb, has dealt with shortages. We're kind of at the mercy of any number of things going on in the world. Pig Mines head brewer Chris Langeth has been professionally brewing for five years. He tells me carbon dioxide is an important part of the whole brewing process. Um, carbonating the beer, transferring it from one tank to another, um, serving the beer from kegs, running the canning line. We rely very heavily on CO2. Matt Carb is a third generation family business. The company distributes to brewers like Pig Mines. McCarb's president, Adam McCarthy, tells me every year the company sees issues, but it's never been this bad. The past couple of years, it just seems like it's getting worse and worse, to be honest with you. And, and this is probably the worst that we've seen. Adam says McCarb is working on how to serve clients better by getting more equipment, using trains instead of trucks to move product, and upgrading technology on CO2 tanks to stretch the available gas. We're able to see where they're exactly at and kind of be able to push them out a little bit longer or, you know, prioritize them over somebody that has plenty of gas in the tank. Chris says pig mine staff have their own ways to make the CO2 go farther. We've done our best to try and mitigate those issues. We employ some processes that help us save on CO2. One of them is naturally carbonating the beer. Adam tells me McCarb is in a unique position since the company makes its own CO2. The problem is more distribution than supply. Mimi? All right, thanks, Nikal.